Hello, my name is Michael Elliott, Secondary Director of the Washington County Career Center. It is a pleasure to talk to the sophomore students today from Washington County, the members of the graduating class of 2023. Today, we want to give you a lot of information about the Career Center. Often, we have people say to us they really, really like three things about us. Number one is our people. Just like the home high schools, we have a tremendous staff. Number two is our facility. Our building is almost 50 years old. It looks wonderful. And number three is our block schedule. Unlike any other schedule from any high school in Washington County. Today, we plan to talk to you about all three things. Each year, we get outstanding students from all six county high schools, Belfry, Fort Fry, Frontier, Marietta, Warren, and Waterford. This year at the Career Center, we have over 520 students, 15 career technical programs, 30 classroom teachers, two guidance counselors, two high school administrators along with central office workers, and over a dozen staff in a variety of support roles. When you come to the Career Center, you have many choices. Our students generally fit into one of three categories. The first, we have students who after high school want to go directly into the workforce. They are ready to begin earning money. Number two, they have made the wonderful choice of going on to serve our country in one of the many branches of the armed services. We are most proud of those students. And number three, and this is perhaps our, the category that is growing the most, we have many students who are ready to go on to post-secondary education in a two or four year college or university. This quote is one of the things we strongly believe in at the Career Center. Find a job you'll love and you'll never work a day in your life. I'm lucky. I'm one of those people. I get up each day and I can't wait to get to the Career Center. To me, it doesn't seem like going to work. I next want to talk about our block schedule. Students who come to the Career Center will be in the program of their choice for half their school day, both their junior and senior year. You, the student, makes that decision. The other half of the day is spent in academic classes, but we do it differently than your home high school. Let me explain, and let's take a look at the example on the screen. Pretend I was going to be a student in sports medicine and exercise science. In the first semester, I would have that program for blocks one and two, all morning. Then after lunch, I would have my math class, which might be algebra two, and my social studies class, which would be American government. I would have that schedule at the beginning of the year from August until the end of December. When coming back from Christmas break, and looking at second semester, I would still be in sports medicine and exercise science, but my math class has changed to science, perhaps chemistry, and my social studies class has turned to English, or a junior English class. You say, Mr. Elliott, how is that so? Because our blocks are 84 or 85 minutes long, which is equal to approximately two high school class periods. It is possible for our students to earn a full credit of an academic class in only one semester. So at the end of your junior year, you would have four credits in your program and four academic credits. Also, our school day begins each day at 8.15 a.m. and our students are dismissed by 2.30 in plenty of time to return back to your home high school for any extracurricular activities. What do we offer at the Career Center? Number one, we offer you a chance to reinvent yourself. And let me explain. If you are a student who has good grades, comes to school, and is an involved student in different activities, we want you to keep on being awesome. You can do those things at the Career Center, but we don't want that to change. However, if you are a student who has grades not as good as they could be, attendance not as good as it could be, maybe gotten a little bit of a trouble during the school year, we offer you a chance to reinvent yourself or a chance to start over. Each year, we have students who come to the Career Center and shine, turn over a new leaf, and end up doing better because they are where they want to be for half their school day 
and they really, really like being in their career technical program. We also offer assistance on end of course exams. It is our goal each year for every one of our career center students to earn their high school diploma. A pathway to graduation, certificate of competencies, and these follow right along with your career technical program. We offer many College Credit Plus classes and opportunities. In each program, we have hands-on technical training. College prep academics for students who wish to go on to a two or four year college or university. Early placement, a program for some of our senior students who second semester of their senior year, instead of coming to school, they can go and find a job within their career technical field, go to work, earn a paycheck, and earn high school credit at the same time while still maintaining a pathway to graduation. Full or half day options. Sometimes we hear, Mr. Elliott, I like the Career Center, but I don't want to leave my high school. Is there any way I can do both? The answer is yes. You would come to us for one of our 15 programs and then go back to your high school for your English, Math, Science, and Social Studies. We offer industry recognized credentials in each one of our technical programs and if you are a student who has a, a class that didn't go as well as it should have your freshman or sophomore year, we do offer online credit recovery services so you can be back online in order to graduate at the end of your senior year. Here is another important part of the Career Center. We sometimes hear, what's wrong with teenagers these days? They have no work ethic. We totally disagree. In fact, we think work, that work ethic is so important, we give you a grade specifically in work ethic. Part of that grade has to do with attendance. The other part has to do with participation, readiness. Do you have your supplies? If you need to change clothes, do you have your uniform? Are you good with the public? How well can you work together in a group and be active? Can you stay off your phone and maintain focus? All those things are important to being successful in the 21st century. And yes, we give you a grade. It is figured into your GPA. It does count. We also offer many different types of College Credit Plus opportunities at the Career Center. By taking a look at this chart, you can see we offer classes in academic and within five of our career technical programs. Qualification is necessary and more information is possible through our guidance department. At this time, I'd like to turn our presentation over to Mrs. Penny Jenkins, our Marketing and Events Coordinator here at the Career Center. Good morning. As we go through the 15 technical programs, there's one thing that I ask of you. Please think outside the box. We have males and females in every one of our programs. Ladies, if you would like to be a female welder, you can do so. Gentlemen, if you would like to get into the health field, please consider it. At the Career Center, we would love to have you. Let's start off with our transportation systems programs. In the auto collision repair and refinishing program, you will be working on the bodies of the vehicles, fixing the dents and fender benders. You have your very own paint booth in the lab, so you will learn to operate and utilize the paint guns correctly. You also will get some welding in this program. You are not only going to be working on modernized vehicles, but the older models as well as antique vehicles. In each of our programs, you will have the opportunity to earn what's called an Ohio Department of Education Industry Recognized Credentials. These credentials are not only a good foot in the door towards a job, but they also are a pathway towards graduation. In the Auto Collision Program, you will be able to earn what's called the ICAR Credential. The next program is Auto Mechanics. In this program, you will be learning how to do anything and everything it takes to keep a vehicle in good working order, whether it's rotating the tires, changing the oil, to doing a complete engine overhaul. These students are learning to do that with the most up-to-date software and equipment. As you know, our vehicles are all computerized nowadays. In this program, these students will learn the, or earn the Automotive Service Excellence Credential as well as doing some Ford online access training. Our next transportation program is diesel truck mechanics. You're getting into the big diesel engines, working with semi trucks, farm equipment, heavy equipment, dump trucks, and so forth. 
These students will work with hydraulics and pneumatics, the electrical and electronic systems, again, all computerized, and up-to-date software and equipment. Our instructor in your senior year will give you internship opportunities. With over a dozen local businesses, our seniors go out on two-week rotating internships, getting on-the-job training, and we have several students that get hired each year out of these internships. You also will earn the Automotive Service Excellence Credential. Next uh, programs are the Construction Systems programs. In the Carpentry program, you will, by the time you graduate, have helped to have built two homes on campus. These homes are built to state inspection because we sell them to the public. In your junior year, you will build the home from the ground up. And in your senior year, you'll get into the more finer side of carpentry, building cabinets, shelves, framework, and so forth, things that finish off the home to make it look nice. In the construction programs, you will earn what's called a national credential, the National Center, Center for Construction Education and Research. With this national credential, you can go anywhere in the world with this credential onto a job site and they will know what you're skilled in. Also, OSHA is a number one priority in the construction business, as well as the industrial fields. With a 10 hour OSHA training credential that you will earn your junior year, it's a great foot in the door towards a job and they will know that you are skilled in that area. Our next program is electricity. They too help with the building of the homes. They do all the wiring, again, done to state inspection. Mr. Canterbury, our instructor, has his own electrical business and he is very skilled in getting you trained in both commercial and residential wiring. These students also earn the NCCER credential and the OSHA credential. We have many that go on to the union trades as well as into the electrical or electronic engineering programs at Washington State, the Career Center's Adult Technical Training Program, and other colleges. Our Heavy Equipment Program is one of two programs that our students are outdoors probably 95% of the time, learning how to operate all different types of heavy equipment we own on campus, such as bobcats, dump trucks, bulldozers, skid steers, forklifts, learning how to operate those types of equipment. Heavy equipment operators are in high demand and can be a very lucrative business. They too earn the NCCER as well as OSHA credentials, but they also get what's called an OSHA forklift credential. And we are currently working on getting the forklift credential for all of our other construction areas. In our masonry program, this program is probably one of our most physical programs, working with brick and block and stone, mortar, concrete, and so forth. These students are learning how to build all different types of projects, whether it's mock homes, learning how to uh, build homes, utilizing the materials, uh, working with building fireplaces, pillars, and so forth. These students are learning to do that. Again, they earn the NCCER as well as the OSHA credential. Let's talk about unions. Most unions are five years long, and by the end of your five-year apprenticeship, you will be, have the ability to become a journeyman making between $30 to $50 an hour, depending on what union you go into, making great benefits in health, eye, and dental, as well as they pay stipends for food, travel, and lodge. Please consider the union trades if you are in the construction or industrial areas. High demand for union trade workers at this time with the baby boomers retiring. Our next program is the Landscape Construction and Turf Management Program. They are in the Environmental Systems area. Very diverse program. They not only are taking care of our 160-acre land lab, whether it is mowing, weed eating, working, uh, keeping up with the nature trails and the ponds, that's just a very small part of this program. They also will get masonry in this program, working with the brick and block and stone to build the landscapes that they're designing. They'll get some drafting, working on both blueprint as well as computerized, designing the landscapes that they want to build, and a little bit of heavy equipment operating the bobcats and skid steers to haul that heavy equipment around with. Mr. Lippitt is a graduate from The Ohio State University in this exact program, so he's very knowledgeable in the field to get his students certified in the NCCER, 
OSHA as well as a nursery technician credential. As I mentioned, we have a 160 acre land lab that both our landscape students as well as the heavy equipment students are utilizing. In the landscaping program, they also have a new computerized greenhouse that they are learning how to operate. In the welding program, you will learn all different types of weld, from MIG welding to TIG welding, arc welding, utilizing the different types of gases to weld with. In your senior year, if you qualify, our instructor will send you down to a very lucrative business right here near the Career Center Pioneer Group. We have a pre-apprenticeship program with them. It is 15 weeks long. And the awesome thing about this program is their employees are training our students six different types of extensive welds. If you pass all six of those welds, our students have the opportunity right out of high school to enter the Plumbers and Pipe Fitters Union at an advanced standing. As I said, most apprenticeships are five years long. Our students can go in as second year apprentices making good money right out of high school. Awesome benefit for you. The digital marketing program is one of two IT programs that we have. If you are interested in getting into the marketing or sales field, working with social media, uh, web page design, helping businesses to rebuild their social media pages or start up brand new, working with Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, and so forth, this is a great program to go into. You'll work with photography, animation, web page design to get their social media pages up and running. A new credential called Rise Up the Google AdWords and Analytics, as well as Microsoft Office Specialist. In the Graphic Design and Video Production Program, if you are interested in animation, web page design, photography, video effects, and so forth, this could be the program for you. Utilizing the most up-to-date technology and equipment, as well as their own green screen, these students are producing high-level and professional-looking projects and videos. 18 college credit courses you can earn in this program on top of dual academic enrollment courses utilizing that Adobe Creative Cloud software. We have three health science programs and the first program is medical college prep. In the medical college prep program there are prerequisites to get into it. You have to have a 2.5 GPA or higher and have passed algebra and biology with a C or above. Lots of anatomy and physiology as well as medical terminology in all three of our health science programs. And by the time you graduate, you will sit for that state tested nursing assistant credential. Utilizing the credential, you can go out and work in the local nursing homes and hospitals, working your way through college, go in the field that you're going to college for, making a good wage. Seven college credit courses as well that you can earn on top of the other types of certifications in CPR, uh, first aid, AED, as well as stop the bleed. Our patient health care program does not have the prerequisites to get into it. It's a lot like medical college prep, but more geared towards taking care of the patients while they're in the nursing homes and hospitals, taking their vital signs, helping them get in and out of bed, working closely with the doctors. Again, you're going to get that medical terminology and anatomy and physiology, as well as earning the state tested nursing assistant credential four college credit courses you can earn in this program. We have students that go on to college in this program as well as ride out to work in the hospitals and nursing homes. Sports medicine and exercise science is our second program that has the prerequisites to get into it with a 2.5 GPA or higher and passing algebra and biology with a C or above. Very extensive program, learning the muscles and the bones, diseases, disorders, lots of terminology, medical terminology, as well as the anatomy and physiology. Our instructor has these students working out every day in their very own uh, exercise lab, utilizing Zumba, P90X, yoga, and so forth. They also learn about nutrition and wellness. And uh, in the sports medicine side, they're uh, working with learning how to rehabilitate rehabilitate uh, people that are elderly as well as sports injuries. 15 college credit courses you can earn in this program and at the end of your senior year you'll sit for the physical therapy aid uh, certification. Our last program is cosmetology. If you are interested in being a cosmetologist or a barber you really need to come to the Career Center. To try to go to beauty school or a barber school outside of the Career Center is going to cost you thousands of dollars. 
At the Career Center, by the end of your senior year in this two-year program, you can sit for your state board license for a little over $200. Attendance is essential to get that 1,500 lab hours, so you must work very hard in attending school every day. If you do miss too many days, Mrs. Boyd, our instructor, will set you up with internships to make up those hours, but it's really important to attend every day in this program. A chemistry class is also required as you are learning how to manipulate bones of the face, doing facials as well as uh, the scalp diseases and disorders and so forth. You're not only going to learn how to cut hair in this program, you'll learn how to do facials, manicures, pedicures, and so forth. Awesome program to get into. Thank you. At this time, I now want to give you some additional information about the Career Center. Each year we have a Career Center prom. Our prom is always scheduled on an evening that does not coincide with a prom from a home school. So you can attend both the Career Center prom and your home high school prom. Just like your home high school, each year we have valedictorians, and in some years we actually have more than one. We're very proud of them. We also have different student organizations at the Career Center. When you come as a student, you are automatically entered into one of three career technical student organizations, Business Professionals of America, Skills USA, or FFA. We also have an Interact Club which is associated with Rotary International. It is a service organization where students do volunteering and projects that help out the community and our school. We have a National Technical Honor Society, much like National Honor Society at your home schools, where we recognize students for their outstanding academic and personal accomplishments. We have student ambassadors who serve as a liaison between the Career Center and the home high schools. And just like your home high school, we also have a student council. Here's a group of students we are most proud of. Here at the Career Center, we have athletes, but we do not have our own sports teams. We have musicians and singers, but we do not have our own band or choir. However, we do have those people who participate in those activities at your home school. So here, we like to show our many athletes from our fall sports time, students who are participating in winter sports and band, and also our spring sport athletes and fine arts members. Very, very proud of these students. For more information about the Career Center, you can visit us on the web at www.thecareercenter.net, and also follow our social media pages. You can like us on Facebook and find us on Twitter and Instagram. Should you need additional information and wish to schedule a visit, please contact our guidance office at 740-373-2766, extension 4016.